Hello everyone and welcome to MT4 Professional. Today's topic is trading strategies using the MT4 Professional Scanner and we'll be going over a bunch of uh, different strategies uh, related to that. So if you have any questions or comments during today's presentation then over on the right hand side of your GoToWebinar control panel is a questions pane. Please enter your question or comments there and I'll be more than glad to get to them in the order that they are received. Feel free to use the uh, chat box if it's available. If it's not, then uh, the questions panel is, uh, is a great place to uh, input your questions. I want to make sure you understand and know that uh, resilient traders and MT4 professional are not investment advisory service. We're not registered to provide investment uh, advice, so we cannot give you anything specific on trade related information. Uh, but what we can do is teach and train you on the proper use of our software and our platform, how to use it to set up a trading plan that is both consistently profitable and successful. Trading with futures, stocks, forex, options, cryptocurrencies has a large potential for reward and you can make a lot of money, but it also has a lot of risk, a large potential for risk, and you can lose a lot of money. So make sure that you are aware of the risks involved and willing and be and you are willing to accept them in order to trade or invest in any of these markets. Past performance is not indicative of future results, so make sure that you get advice from a competent financial advisor before you start trading or investing in any of these markets. Please do not trade with money that you cannot afford to lose. Never trade in a live account until you have first proven that you can consistently and profitably trade a simulated account. I am Randy Lindsay, your trade coach today and operations director at MT4 Professional. Joining me today is Claudio Cardinal, our product development director and my uh, partner in crime. Um, together, we make uh, resilient traders and uh, uh, the MT4 Professional platform uh, is uh, the child of uh, Claudio uh, as uh, he birthed it and uh, he is the full uh, brains behind the platform. So if you do have any questions, you have just the right people here to answer them today. And on today's agenda, we're going to be going over trading strategies using MT4 Professional. We're going to talk about a market scanner, what the market scanner is. We'll have a live presentation, of course, and a demonstration of the platform in action. We're going to make you a very special offer if you hang around toward the end of the presentation, and we're going to uh, let you know that uh, a very special offer that we're making uh, for a potential investment in our company. If you have any questions or comments, again, uh, use the questions panel on the GoToWebinar control panel, the questions pane. Uh, that way we can see your questions and answer them um, as we go along. So there are several different popular trading strategies that we can talk about today. EMA and price is a pure price action strategy that looks at a close of price or an open of price or basically price relative to an exponential moving average of any speed, of course. So you can look back and uh, set the settings uh, on any time frame or any uh, look back that you want. So you can make it a, uh, a nine period EMA, you can make it a 20 period EMA, it doesn't matter. The idea is a strategy that involves pure price action and EMA is really popular and we'll be going over that. The MACD and Signal uh, looks at convergence divergent indicators on moving averages uh, relative to a signal line. And you can use that in multiple different ways depending upon the strategy and what information you're trying to get from that. So this is a good uh, strategy if you're looking at trying to either enter or exit the markets. There's a moving average crossover where you're looking at comparing two different moving averages or more uh, to see if a relative trend direction has been established or if you're ready to enter, exit, or just looking to find the overall direction of the market. Uh, and then there's the combination strategy where you're looking at putting together several different strategies into a single strategy that can have higher potential profits and uh, lower potential risk. Um, using an example would be the EMA and price strategy, the MACD and signal strategy, 
even throw in another relative strength to show you where it's an overbought or oversold conditions. You can also use all the all the different indicators that are available on your MT4 or MT5 platform. You know, all the stochastics, um, any of the uh, Bollinger Bands or any of the other information uh, that you have access to ADX and so forth. And then there's the uh, all popular alligator indicator for those who are usually trading longer time frame periods. We're talking at least half a day or greater. And so you're looking at long term moving average crossovers and uh, you're you're buying for weeks or months at a time. So the alligator is a very uh, statistical and very long term uh, successful um, strategy. We're going to be looking at all these strategies today and uh, showing you how they work on the MT4 Professional platform. The MT4 Professional Scanner can scan all of these strategies as well in real time, plus a many, many more, and it will alert you when the conditions are met for a conditional trade. So let me pull up a poll here real quick to find out how many of you guys are currently uh, MT4 Professional users. Just uh, simply uh, answer whether you are currently uh, using MT4 Professional, um, whether you have uh, had, haven't had any time to try it, uh, you want to know more, you, or that you're not sure if you even need it. So let me know um, the information, um, and I'll be glad to uh, close it down once I get a few responses. and I'll share the data with you. Give it about 45 seconds. All right, I'll go ahead and close that and share that with you guys. So currently we do have about 75% of the class are existing MT4 professional users. So thank you very much. You're coming back for some education. Uh, so if you have questions, make sure you put your questions in the questions pane, and I'll be glad to get as detailed as you want about the platform or the setups or the strategies themselves. About a quarter of the class uh, uh, want to know more, and so that's the purpose of this class is really to show you the platform and to teach you a little bit more about that. And if I don't cover any specific content you needed to know, again, ask questions. That's the best way for me to be involved and get to the information that you really want to hear is uh, through the Q&A. All right, thank you very much for that. So let's go on. So what is a market scanner and what is MT4 Professional? Well, let me make sure that I have my view set up there. There it is, all right. So. If you really think about it, um, looking at all the symbols and all the time frames that you have access to, that's 54 X pairs, 20 CFDs, nine different time frames on the MT4 platform alone. There's a lot more on MT5, but just that alone, that's more than 630 different combinations that you have to check. Do you really think you're capable of doing this manually? How often do you miss opportunities when you're sitting there trying to scan through or look at different charts and settings or just fumble around with settings on indicators and so forth? So your chances are good you're missing a lot of opportunities. Well, today, trading on different instruments is a must to make trading profitable. In fact, trading uncorrelated instruments is the best way to remove uncertainty on an instrument and to diversify your portfolio at the same time. A perfect solution for this is a market scanner. A market scanner is a tool. It allows you to scan the entire market for any symbol or time frame using your own custom rules based on any standard or custom indicators you have at your disposal. So, it's not a signal provider per se, but it's a tool. It allows you to analyze all the strategies that you want using all the indicators you have and you want to use. An example is the cross of two moving averages. So if I had a spreadsheet type layout with all of my symbols on the left-hand side, and I had a, a setup based upon time frame, I want to know if 
I have a bullish moving average cross. A bullish cross means the fast moving average crosses over or is greater than the slow moving average. In this case, it's an MA15 and an MA30. So I want my cell for whatever time frame I'm using to be green if it is a bullish cross. A bearish cross would be red. That means the fast moving average crosses below the slow moving average. So really quickly, you can see that a spreadsheet layout like this for every symbol I use in whatever time frame, I can very quickly look at all the potential setups and then find out why they're doing what they're doing and whether there are they are extreme bulls, extreme bears, and so forth. And if the trade is set up, then I can execute the trade based upon the scanning setup. So I don't have to go out and look for each of these individually. The scanner does it all for me automatically and presents to me a very clear indication of potential trade entries. So that's the the moving average crossover. Looking at another example, um, here I'm going to be looking at an EMA in price. So the idea behind this is that the scanner is going to be doing all the hard work for you, going in the background looking for the trade setups, while in the meantime, you're focused on the important things like managing your trade or getting your mindset where it belongs. Once it's properly set up, the, mat, the market scanner searches for whatever conditions you give it, following your rules, your strategies, then it alerts you when the trade conditions are favorable for you to either enter or exit. So using the EMA and price example, I want to see green whenever price is greater than the EMA, and I want to see red whenever price is less than the EMA. In this particular con condition, I see the dollar Canadian is extremely bullish, while the S&P and NASDAQ are all very bearish. I can see that the uh, bond is short-term bearish, but longer-term bullish, as is oil. Um, gold, Bitcoin, Ethereum, they're all kind of in transition. But you can see that uh, gold has a midterm that looks like it's changing back into the longer term. So this is a, a really good setup. So these are potential uh, reversals happening. Um, these are potential continuations happening. The, this is a potential um, start of a reversal. So that's really easy to see and to know that ahead of time is just really, really nice to know um, that it's doing it for you and it just presents the information for you to make decisions. So I talk a lot about multiple time frames. Um, did you know that if you trade using multiple time frames, you have a higher probability of a profitable trade? And that's due to correlation. It's just one of the advantages of using multiple time frame technical analysis. So by checking multiple time frames, before you initiate a trade, your trades will be in harmony with the longer time frame, and the result will be a higher probability, lower risk trade. For example, if you look at the differences over here on the right, you can see how choppy and noisy a 15 minute chart is, but the overall envelope still looks the same. The hourly is a little bit smoother, but still very choppy compared to the four hour. You can see a four hour chart uh, is much smoother during the longer periods of time. So if you are trading a 15 minute chart in the direction of the longer term trend, you're gonna have higher probability that your trade will end in profit and you're gonna be risking a lot less because you're gonna be trading in the direction of the trend. If you try to take trends that are counter to the longer term trend, you're having a much, much shorter profit target, or you're probably going to get stopped out. So you, you're, you're going against the overall trend, but you trade with the trend, then you're really high chance that you're going to make your profit targets and be in line with what your goals are. So if you had a market scanner then that could search for setups that are based on your rules and verified by multiple time frame analysis, it would be an extremely valuable tool. So here's a very quick example I want to show you um, using a four hour daily and weekly setup. 
Here I've got price action relative to an exponential moving average. I have a MACD and signal sig setup, and I'm checking it with a relative strength setup to determine whether it is going, moving strong or if it's moving weak. If it's overbought, or is it oversold? And so there's a lot of information that's on the charts. And so if I had a scanner that could tell me when I have a bullish cross in price, if I have a bullish cross on my MACD, and if I have strength coming from my relative strength indicator, i.e. the current relative strength is greater than the previous relative strength showing a trend of strength, then that would be a bullish setup and I would want to initiate a trade once that occurs. So once I see my four hour go green in this case, then I want to be uh, signaled that it um, is ready for a buy. I then want to make sure that the second time frame has a bullish MACD and is a bullish trend on my relative strength where the current relative strength is greater than the previous relative strength X bars ago. If that condition is true, then the sell for the daily will be green. It doesn't look at the price relative to the EMA because that's too slow on the setup. But I want to see the, what the stochastics and the relative strength are doing. And then the third time frame would be weekly. I want to make sure that I'm not still in an oversold condition and that my relative strength is trending with strength. And that's what I want to see on the third time frame. So when I see those three conditions aligned, I want to take the trade. In this case, it's a perfect setup. I want to see the initial entry verified by multiple time frames, and I'm trading in the right direction. And this ended up with over 300 pips of potential profit um, if you had followed that particular rule set. If you look back in time and back test these like you should, then you'll see that when you have good trade opportunities on a MACD, you can see that it was not a good trade opportunity on the EMA and price. You can also see during that period that the relative strength was way oversold and still was not able to give you any good trades. And during this choppy sideways action, you can see that you did get signals in, signals out, not clear. So you clearly did not have any opportunity to take any trades. It wasn't as clearly laid out as when the best setup that did come across either here or when you got this really nice sell signal here, um, it was signaled right back here. It was uh, the relative strength was dropping like a rock and price had dropped well below the EMA. So giving you very nice uh, confirming entry points. So by taking trades that are in harmony with the longer time frame, you get lower risk opportunities and higher probability trades. And that's a powerful combination for any trader because it shows the importance of using multiple time frames in your trading. A market scanner that uses multiple time frame analysis is an extremely valuable tool because it does all of that work for you automatically. The problem that we ran into as professional traders was on MT4 and MT5, we didn't come across any scanners. Nothing we found uh, met our criteria and we had lots and lots of issues. Number one, they were just too complex to configure, which meant you had to have high programming skills uh, in order to use them. They were either unstable or maybe just a single tool that did not integrate with the entire system that you are using, or they were incompatible with a lot of the standard indicators you have at your access. So it, they, it became problematic. And so there were a lot of issues that we had to deal with. Our solution, however, was to develop MT4 Professional for ourselves. So um, that's what Claudio did. He developed MT4 Professional for our own daily trading, and now, it became so popular that it's the number one market scanner on MT4 and MT5. It's a tool that allows you to instantly scan the market for setups that match your own unique criteria and rules. And then when you find a good setup, 
it allows you to enhance that tech with technical analysis uh, using multiple time frames and it alerts you to the fact as well so stay tuned we're going to get into details with the uh, setup but first i want to let you know that our crowdfunding initiative has it's gone live and so we're looking at the trading market scanner which is a standalone uh, scanner that can be um, run on any computer and it is not uh, going to be based on a platform like mt4 or anything else so it can scan on any data source that you have access to and we're building this up as a crowdfunding event so that you can participate in the success of the product once it's launched. So you have many opportunities to do that. So what it is, it's like MT4 Professional, but it does not need to have MT4 running. Um, it's able to scan in real time any of your strategies. It's not limited to just Forex or CFDs, but includes stocks, cryptos, etc. Whatever you have access to data to, then it can scan and look for trade setups in whatever um, symbol or instrument that you're trading. You can trade on any platform, any instrument, anytime the market is open. So receive real-time alerts for any setups that meet your criteria or rules. That's going to be our standalone market scanner. So if you are interested in that and pursuing uh, our crowdfunding uh, event um, uh, to launch tra the trading market scanner, here is the link for the current page right now. Let me copy that link and po post it in the chat. You should be able to see that in the chat box. If you don't, let me know. Um, there are quite a few perks available for you if you choose to invest with us, you know, like a lifetime license to Trading Market Scanner or uh, MT4 Professional Platinum. Uh, these are a couple of the perks that you get um, if depending upon the level that you invest with our company. Um, we are currently testing the waters to see if there is sufficient support to justify our venture. So I want to make sure that you understand that we are just testing the waters to make sure that we have enough interest to fund this. And uh, if if you do send actual send actually send money, it won't be accepted. We need to see that you're willing to um, what, how much and if you're willing to invest in our company to make sure that when we do go live um, and launch, then uh, the uh, monies that we are going to be uh, raising are going to be uh, fully regulated. And <coughs> excuse me. So want to make sure that you you understand and know that. So let me okay. So let me get right into the uh, live demonstration. And pull up my platform. There we go. So um, this is regular MT4. Um, it's a standard chart setup where I'm looking at three different time frames. Uh, each chart is independent. And if you notice, if I go into full screen, uh, the charts just stay where they are. They don't move around. They don't readjust to size. If I interact with one chart, you can see that it does not interact with the other charts. I can sit here and look at the information on one. But in order to do multiple time frame analysis, it's very problematic to do it on all three time frames. If I need to change the symbols or the time frame, then I have to physically drag and drop symbols from the side panel over onto the chart, you know, which if you only have a couple of charts, that's one thing. But wouldn't it be nice if you all you had to do is just click once on a symbol list or set up a time frame and it's always going to be set up and, and done that way. Or if you do go into full screen mode um, that uh, you would you'll be able to. Um, reclaim all of this wasted real estate with just a single click and it automatically does that so that's the nice thing about that so let's go ahead and launch mt4 professional just to get a taste of, of what uh, the system's all about so uh, looking at the uh, mt4 professional setup you can see that the first thing that you get is a is a blank scanner screen with a configuration starting screen this it uh, will always come up so that you can choose the configuration that you want to go with. 
In this particular example, we're going to be looking at EMA and price first, just to see what the configurations and setups are to show you how we, we do that. So by selecting this one and hitting the load button, then I'm able to load that strategy into my MT4 professional system. First thing I want you to see is that there's a cross here and it is um, interactive across all three of the time frames that I have active. I can uh, look at time and price relative to each other on all three time frames and get a very good perspective of where they are. So during the uh, initial break down of price at this point, I can see the time and the price level at which it occurred across all three time frames to validate and verify that this is indeed a good breakout. If I want to move things around or check the uh, potential for a, a close, then I can click the crosshair at any point and it freezes it. And I can then do my analysis across the multiple charts as well. If I'm looking across my scanner selections, you can see that the EMA and price strategy is looking at the close of price relative to the 15 period exponential moving average. So if price closes less than this average, then the cell will be red. If price closes greater than this EMA, then the cell will be green. In this example, you can see the five minute price is greater than the EMA, so it's green. But on the 15 minute and the 30 minute price is less than the EMA, so they are both red. So this looks like a short term correction uh, based upon the longer term trend, or it could be the start of a potential reversal. Right now, it's not clear enough. There's not enough information because we can see from the longer term chart um, that we are, um, let me blow that up for you. We are right at support. See how price came right down to this level of support. So we are right clearly at support and we always anticipate a reaction at support. So we uh, are looking for that to come into that level. But here is the overhead potential resistance that it could come back into right here. So if it comes back up to this level without changing the direction of the EMA, that would be a great place for a a balance and a potential um, continuation trade. So, so watch for that. This could be a short-term setup trade where you're looking for a potential target to that resistance area. So it'd be good for 10, maybe 20 pips or so, uh, but always rem remember to keep your profit target short if you're going against the longer term trend. And that's the idea behind that. So if I want to go and look at the uh, pound dollar as well, it looks like it's in the same type setup. All I have to do is click one time on my symbol list and it automatically switches all of my charts over to the pound dollar. And I can do the same type of analysis on it as well. Green, red, red, and I've got the same types of setup as well. Any questions at all, make sure you let me know and I'll be more than glad to um, answer them um, during today's presentation. Looking at the configuration for this um, setup, you select the uh, configuration that you're interested in, click the edit button, and it will open up for you. Um, let me move this out of the way so you can see it. It'll open up for you uh, two different panels, the scanner panel and the workspace uh, configurator. The, on the right hand side, this just shows the basic configuration for your charts. You've got three different charts, one, two, three. You can, you can set the time frame based upon pull down menus. You can set the template based upon whatever template that you have loaded or using the plus sign, you can load any template that is available to you on your platform. So if you're work, used to working with it, templates and you have your charts looking just the way that you like them, then use the template that you like loaded up into that window and then on that chart it will always be displayed with that template um, if you want to use different templates then you can do that as well if you want your other charts to look differently in this case i have them all looking the same with the ema and price template if you wanted to add a chart 
you simply tile your chart windows and it will automatically space them all out evenly. If you like to have them all vertically, um, then just simply tile them vertically or horizontally, depending upon how you want them, or if you want them all just regular tiled. And make sure that once you do add a new window that you set up the time frames to be in the position that you want them to be. So the upper left, if you want it to be the fastest time frame, then make sure that you have that set up and select the template you want with it. Uh, and then below that 15, in this case 30 here, in this case I want it to be 60. So there now I have a nice uh, set, set up. You might want to go across this way, maybe a 5, 15, 30, 60, and so forth. So, you know, it's up to you, however that you want to set that up. I will I'll cancel this because I don't want to save any changes I made to that. But you would normally go through and click the Save button, and it would automatically save any changes to your configuration. On the left hand side is the scanner panel. Click on it and it gives you the option to change or set up your symbol list. So these are the symbols that are on your scanner. All of these can be set up in any order that you like. Any symbol that you have access to on your platform can be set up and displayed here on this list. Very simple, easy to use. The scanner on the right is the meat and potatoes of the program. So you click on it and this is where you set up your rules for engagement. Here, these are color rules. These are the rules that it follows in order to change the color of the cells that are presented here. If you want to see the data behind the information, then you use the indicator to show section uh, to um, display the output of whatever indicator that you're looking for. The output is numerical value, so, like relative strength. You're looking at it being 30, 29, 45, whatever it might be, it'll display the actual numerical value on the chart here. Um, but leave it blank if you don't want any output like I'm doing right here, and it'll still work just fine. If you want to change the name of each column, then each one of these cells that you see here defines a specific column on your spreadsheet. So this is a five minute column. By default, it's going to be labeled as M5. If you want a different name, then simply put that name here and it will rename that column uh, for whatever name that you give it. You can see on this setup that I have three different time frames to match the three different charts that I have. If I wanted to add, say, the hourly chart then, then uh, click once, make sure that you select the proper time frame, and then define a color rule. In this case, there's only one. Uh, that you want to apply to that time frame. Now I have my strategy running on four different time frames for analysis. If I ever want to change those, or if I don't think I really need four, or I only need three, then just simply do an X and you're done with that. Okay. Now let's go inside and see what the actual rules are. So if I use the pull down menu, you'll see that next to the main color rule is a edit panel. It's a pencil on a pad. So click the edit icon and that allows you to see what the actual rule set logic is to make the decision. So for a bullish setup, I'm looking at the close of price relative to my 15 period exponential moving average. The close of price has to be greater than or equal to that EMA for me to get a green condition. If that is not true, if price is not greater than or equal to the 15 EMA, then it's going to um, not, it, it'll go to the next condition since this condition set was not true. It'll do the OR operation. So condition set two then looks at the close of price. Is it less than the EMA? And if this is true, then it will color the cell red. So it'll do condition set one first, then it will do condition set two, then it will do condition set three if you have one defined or an and condition set four in that order if you have each one of those defined. Uh, in this case, I don't need them. I just need two condition sets because I'm looking to see if it's above or below. Either one of these. So it's always going to be green. It's always going to be red. If you have a condition that can be 
either green or red or somewhere in between but not quite then it the default color then will be yellow so if this is not true and this is not true then the default color will be yellow uh, meaning that the trade hasn't set up yet because it hasn't defined whether it's bullish or bearish yet it's neutral you give it any name that you want to and then define it that way and then you apply that rule to whatever time frames that you have access to once you've tested it and it looks good then you can turn on the notifications by clicking this box right here and it'll set up real-time notifications to alert you uh, to when these conditions meet your criteria and uh, let you know on your platform and if you set up your mobile phone or your telegram account it will send you these these setups and alerts to your phone uh, via text message sms or telegram uh, message okay notice the little icon in the bottom right corner that is the share icon this is a tool that allows you to share any configurations that you've put together with anybody that's using the MT4 professional system. So we can, it's our um, network, it's our traders network. And if you are trading with a group of people, then it allows you to share your conditional setups, all the work that you've put into that with them and there so that everybody is on the same page at the same time. And all they have to do is go to their um, configuration loader, scroll to the bottom to find the inbox area and the uh, scanner uh, setup configurations that you have sent to them will show up in this area. And then all they have to do is create their own configuration based upon that setup and they're off and running. So once you click the create your custom configuration, you select whichever one of these uh, templates that you want to use, including anything else that you've already created. And it will create a custom configuration up here in the customs section, which you then can edit and change around any way that you want to. I haven't received any questions so far, so I assume that I'm doing a good job answering your questions and that I'm not going too fast or talking too detailed, um, or you just don't know what questions to ask, but or um, I'm a little worried about this, that maybe you're not hearing me or that you're not, uh, you don't have a way of asking a question. Maybe it's not showing up. But, so if we could test it really quick and someone could just say, yeah, it sounds good, keep going, then I'll, I would really appreciate it. If somebody could ask a question about anything like, uh, you know, where do I live or or something like that, maybe that will that will help a little bit. Nobody, I wonder if I'm even getting through. This is the first time that we're using GoToWebinar. Ah, thank you, I appreciate it. I'll keep going then. Thank you very much, Hani. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to a different configuration. Um, that was uh, that one. I want to go to the longer time frame one uh, using the here it is uh, MACD. This is a longer time frame setup using multiple indicators. Now that one was using just a single indicator. In this case, I'm using a setup that's using multiple indications. So if I were to start with my configurator, um, click the edit button, and we'll see exactly what we're looking at. So if I go to the scanner and look at it. You can see I have a strong signal set up and a trend set up. So I'm looking for my signal and a trend color rule identifier. So right now my four hour chart is set up on strong signal, so is my daily. My weekly chart is set up on trend CR, trend color rule. So what I'm looking to do is find out what, okay, what does the strong signal really mean? If I click the edit icon, then you can see that a strong signal condition set one is defined by a MACD cross under the signal line. This is the histogram or the baseline indicator has crossed down below the signal line of the MACD. So you can see I have 
two instances of the exact same indicator, but when I set that indicator up, then I make sure that the mode of that indicator is set up as the base indicator. So if I were to go over here to the signal line and look at its setup, then you can see its mode is set as a signal line. So the MACD has two different outputs, and I want to make sure that I'm comparing the correct output with the other, and that's what I'm trying to do here. So I'm looking to see that the histogram, that's the white line that you see on the chart right over here, that's the white histogram line, that's the base indicator. And the signal line is the red line. So what this is doing is checking to make sure that the white histogram is less than or under the red line. That's looking for bearish type setups. Again, here is the EMA and price. So we're looking at the close of price relative to a 15 period exponential moving average. And of course, if you don't want the 15 period, you can always change it and make it any type of uh, setup that you like. So you can set up it based upon whether it's a close of price or, or if it's a, a different period, you can set it up as a 20, 10, nine, anything like that. You can shift and move it around looking at the current price or you can look at historical prices and so forth. So um, it doesn't even have to be exponential. You can make it any, uh, any type of moving average. So that's the idea behind it is you can set up and use the tools the way you want to use them. Once you have them set up, MT4 Professional will crunch away at it. Not doesn't matter what time of day, whether you're there or not, it's going to do all the work and let you know when the conditions are ripe. So last but not least is relative strength. I've got relative strength loaded twice, but I'm looking at the price two bars ago relative to the current price. So I'm looking at to see if two bars ago was greater than the current price. So if that's the case, two bars ago relative to the current price, if it is greater than the current price, I know that it is moving down. So I have a downward slope relative strength, so I'm losing energy in the move. That's bearish. So if all three of these conditions are true, this one and this one and this one, this condition set is true, it will color the cell red. If any one of these conditions are not true, because all three have to be true, if any one of these are not true, then this will fail and it will check to see if it's a bullish move. So then it will look at that same MACD cross, but in this case, it's looking to see that the histogram is greater than the signal line. It's gonna look to see that price is closed greater than the EMA. And it's going to make sure that during that same period, you have a positive trending slope on your RSI. If that's the case, then that will be green and it'll be painted that way and we'll move on. If any one of these are not true, then this will also be false and it will paint the cell the default color, which is yellow, saying that the trade has not set up property to give it a strong signal. It's in a neutral, con congestive, or um, consolidating range. Uh, the number of different operators that we have right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, less than, less than, equal to. So those are the different uh, types of uh, setups that you can look at, the operators that you can use, okay? And uh, yeah, all of these are all automated uh, based upon your settings. So once you set it up and run it, then it does everything automatically for you. You don't have to worry about it at all. Um, please give example of using the scanner for scalping. Um, well, I mean, I guess you can set it up. It's these are these examples are showing different configurations. Uh, these are, of course, were longer term. Looking at the previous configuration we did have, you could use that for scalping type setups where you're looking at price. So by using this setup, a five minute time frame is definitely a scalp trade setup uh, specific, specifically. So when you see this uh, setting occur, remember I told you that the, uh, the trend line acts as a point of resistance or support. 
When you see price on the five minute coming above that, then you know that you're getting ready for a potential reversal or a continuation trade. So when price comes back up to that level and then closes below, that gives you an opportunity to get back in with the existing trade. So the close below at this point gives you the, the, the point for a potential entry. And if you did that in line with both of the other two, so basically this cycle from green to red, then you would be in uh, probably about what, what was that, four or five pips positive at this point following this trade setup. And the risk in the trade, uh, if you're if you're using this point, would be about three and a half to four pips in the trade. So you're looking at a four pip risk. Your target would probably be about an eight pip. So that's a two to one reward trade. So if you're looking at that as a shorter term profit, then that's the idea behind it. But it's it's all it's all relative to how your strategy can be set up. And this one is set up to do this. On a five minute, if we wanted to set it up to do a one minute, then that would be much, much, much faster. Uh, and the scalp trades would be much quicker. So that's the idea behind that. So all three cells, you can look at it, whether it's all three cells are green, or you can look at it to see if all three, the last two cells are one color, but the first cell changes color. And then that first cell changes back to the same colors, then as soon as it changes back, then that's your trade entry. That's the idea behind the setup. Or if the, in this case, you can see the dollar Canadian, you have two green cells. It looks like it's having a, a potential reversal setup where you've got green, green, and then this one right here is red, but it has not closed above yet. So you, it looks like it is at support, double, even triple bottom support hit and uh, looks like it's potentially reversing. So the, the setup has given you the indication that there is a full reversal going. So as soon as the longer term setup closes greater than your EMA, your rule could be that once that closes green, then that gives you the opportunity to take the trade or to take the first pullback on the faster time frame to validate the price, because that's usually what it does, is that after the trade breaks out, it pulls back to validate the price, and then it continues on with the new trend. So in this case, we have the potential for a trend. We have the EMA on the 5 and 15, both turning, but the EMA on the 30 is still indecisive at this point. But if it were the case, then it looks like it would give you a potential you know, for a trade. Um, with a upward price mobility of about 35 pips to the first level of resistance. Don't forget there's a potential resistance there about six or seven pip level, uh, but you've got about 35 pip upward potential if this uh, does come. And if it is a full reversal um, of the trend, then you can see that the, the trend itself can go all the way back to the previous resistance, which is over 100 pips to the top side. That's the idea behind that. So whether you're looking to see if all three cells are green or if only one cell is cycling or if just the middle cell cycles and that shows you that you have a, a longer term trend that failed. And then if you see this one turn back red again, then there's a high probability that this one could turn red again and then you'd be back into a continuation move down. That's the idea. So um, that, that it's possible. Um, you're saying that, is it right saying if three cells are red, enter a cell? If you just look at this and say, oh, all threes are red, sell? No, I wouldn't do that because let's pull up Ethereum for now. Um, looking at this, you know, all three being red, it's just telling you that all three current prices are below the EMA. Now, if you look at the actual price itself, you can see that you're in a congestion channel. Congest, you're at support. You're in a congestion channel. This is not a good trade setup. So just saying, oh, all three are red, I want to sell. No, you don't want to do that. You want to do it when it initially turns red. So you want it to signal you when, if the other two are red, this one turns red, that's the time that you want to start looking at entering that trade.
That's the idea behind it. Looking for those transitional points. All right, well, let's get back to my presentation because I want to make a very special offer for you guys that have been here with me for the, during the duration of this time. Um, MT4 Professional, if you're not already using it, um, has a, a potential value of um, almost uh, $2,300. You're looking at a full featured MT4 or MT5 setup. Uh, you're looking at access to our exclusive Skype community where we, all of the users are um, able to chat and interact with each other. You get unlimited configuration storage in the cloud, unlimited telegram emails and push notifications, um, up to 100 SMS message notifications per month, all included. You can always go uh, and purchase more uh, SMS message notifications if you need to, if you have more than 100 per month, or just use your telegram or um, email and uh, set, set up alert messages uh, unlimited in those ways. And of course you get um, dozens of pre-configured presets on all of our platforms to um, take and use as examples. So everything that I've gone over today are part of presets that we have allowed and given to you to get you going on your uh, setup. Um, so right now we've set that up to be uh, $194 a month, but we knock that down 50% and we make it available to you now for $97 a month. And we also allow you to have a 14 day free trial. 14, try it out for 14 days, absolutely free. Your credit card will not be charged at all during that period. If after the 14th day is completed, um, you're still with us, then we assume that you loved it and you want to continue. And that's the first day that you'll be billed. You'll be billed at the discounted rate until you cancel. So you're locking in the 50% discount right off the bat and you hold it for the duration of your subscription. Uh, you'll get 14 days to try it out and um, any you can cancel any time during that 14 days. Uh, you'll still be able to use the full 14 day trial um, um, to do that. So if you click on the link that was just put on your chat panel, mt4professional.com slash trial, uh, then you'll get access to start your 14 day free trial and lock in your 50% discounted rate right now. All right, if you have any questions along the way, then you can always contact us at support at mt4professional.com. That's support at mt4professional.com. If you have questions, we guarantee 24 hour response or less um, on your question. Uh, and if we cannot answer your question in that period of time, then we'll let you know and we'll let you know uh, that we're looking into it and what the conditions are of that and that we will get back to you at the earliest possible date. All right, uh, let me show you that MT4 Professional uh, can be mobile. It doesn't, you don't have to be tied down to your computer in order to use it. So I'm gonna pull my scanner, my uh, web browser over here. This is uh, showing um, a Chrome browser. So this is this will be like on my tablet or on my cell phone. Uh, so I would need to go to lunch and I can't stay at my terminal all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up on that. So looking at this, if I go over to my MT4 professional uh, members area, simply by signing in on the MT4 professional website, then they'll take you to the MT4 professional homepage. So on the uh, members area homepage, you'll see the, of course, the area to download the software. The first page you see is the onboarding process to walk you through every step of the way to get you set up and using the software correctly. If you do need any help or if you need us to set anything up for you, then just click on either of these uh, setups uh, buttons on the bottom to help let us know that you need some assistance and we'll be more than glad to to help you out all right if you need help with documentation or with the uh, tutorials then the help and documentation center is just one click away and this way you'll be able to go through all of the installation and upgrade information and questions you might have all of our quick start guides and support videos uh, and the details about the software configurations, the general configurator rules, the scanner configurator, symbols, charts, 
and so forth. And even if you have any questions about integrating with Telegram, um, your licenses, your payment method, um, how to unsubscribe, and everything, everything that you might need is right here in our ticketing system. So let me know that. So one thing I wanted to bring you to here, if you're in the um, main members area, is go to the uh, icon in the upper right, and uh, you can see that you can pull up your settings here, and that's where you would go to uh, change or modify your um, um, subscription or your credit card or anything like that. So you can also check to to see if um, if your um, um, symbols are done with the little alert icon. It's a little bell that's right here. This way you can look to see any notifications that you get from the system letting you know when your signals have scheduled or fired off or if we have put out any uh, software updates or fixed any specific bugs in the software that have been reported and we let you know about that as well. And um, if you run over on the menu that's up on the top here, you can see the real-time scanner section is where I want to go. So if I want to go to lunch and I don't want to leave my trade unattended, then all I have to do is just on my platform here in the background, I just keep it running. I go off to lunch and I load on my cell phone my account that I've got running at home. Instantly, you can see that the scanner setup for that platform comes up on my mobile device. And if I'm looking at this setup and I'm seeing I'm getting a potential change on the euro at the time frame that I want, I click that to see what my chart setup is. It automatically changes the chart to the euro and gives me a snapshot of that setup to see if that's the setup case that I want. I can see both charts are in a downward trend, but now I'm starting to signal a potential for either a reversal or a re continuation into the same trend. So right now it's kind of cycling uh, but the overall trend is still down. So that's the idea. So if this is set up as a good potential for a trade setup, then I'm glad it alerted me to that fact. And I'm ready to, to look at that as a potential trade. I don't have to be at my desk. I can pull up the trade uh, broker uh, on my mobile device and execute the trade right there. Don't even have to worry about it. All right, if I take any snapshots that I want to keep or if I have access to, then you can see that there is a snapshot icon that automatically stores any picture that you have uh, set up here in the cloud so you have full access to it. And then uh, when, you, when you do that, then it, there's a snapshot section of the members area, which is all cloud-based, of course, that allows you to uh, set up, tag, organize all of your snapshots into um, uh, usable information. And we give you links uh, that enable you to share this information with, with all of your users. So if you have it set up as a public, uh, as opposed to a private link, then we uh, provide a link, a shareable link that you can share on all of your social media or with uh, text messages to your friends to let them know that the trade that you used and the setup rules that you had followed were um, met and that your the results that were there. And you can also tag them to say that if you're looking specifically for software that are related to that tag, then it's gonna only look at the setups that are related to that specific configuration. All right. And there's a lot more information. And if you want to uh, be, become a referral with us, then simply click the, click the link here and it'll allow you to profit with us as uh, you refer other friends to MT4 Professional, then we will share um, um, from their, um, their um, subscription price with you. All right, uh, any other questions uh, before we go? Just wanna thank you for your time and attention today and thank you for the questions that you did ask. Is there any uh, other special conditions or setups that you would like for me to look at here before we go? 
If not, uh, we are out of time, but uh, I don't mind sticking around a little bit longer just to see if I can answer your questions. I do know that the majority of you in the classroom today are existing clients, so thank you very much. And I hope I was able to answer your questions. Uh, Sandy, I reread your question. I think that you were asking about the automated trading. Now, the, uh, the rules and the setups that we have are made just for letting you know that a trade exists, uh, but you have to manually execute the trade yourself. Um, we can develop an expert advisor or an automated trade robot uh, for you if, if that's the case. Uh, where we can uh, schedule that and uh, write it so that it will automatically trade the strategy you provide us on the platform. So we do that at a, for an additional fee um, uh, as a professional service to you. So we'll write the code and automate the strategy um, and then make it follow the rule set that you provide us uh, that you've tested already using the, uh, the platform. Yes, so we would be able to develop the EA for you. If you let us, uh, if you let us know, so you can develop your strategy, test it on the system, validate it, and then we can set it up so that it will trade for you. Um, honey, I use TradingView for technical and MT4 for executing. How do you integrate MT4 Scanner for different indicators? Yeah, um, you can set up any indicator that you would like um, by looking at the configurations. You edit the tool, go through the scanner, and then uh, under the rules, you can see that um, you can add any indicator that you have access to. So choose whatever indicator that you want. Right here, you have access to all of the existing indicators that are on your system. So any of the trend indicators, like the Ichimoku, the moving average, standard deviation, ADX, if you have stochastics or oscillators, then you know you can have access to any of those as well. Okay. Um, if you have a custom indicator that you've written yourself or you purchased from a third-party vendor, then use the pick from your computer. And what that does, it allows you to go out into your indicator menu uh, directory and then choose the custom or third-party indicator that you want to use select it and then define its 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 setups uh, based upon that. So you can choose either one that you want. Most people use current existing indicators, uh, but if you do have a set of indicators either you've written or purchased, then you can use those as well. No, you cannot. Uh, you cannot use your trading view indicators on MT4. It's an, it's just an if you have the trading view indicator software installed and then displayed on your MT4, then yes, you can. You're very welcome. How can you configure the volatility spikes and the gaps? Uh, well, um, do you have an indicator that looks at the volatility? If you have any indicator that can display the information, you can use the system to access it. Yeah, if you have a vortex indicator, then simply look at your data window, load the indicator onto the chart, look for the vortex output value and then you can set up the um, scanner to look for that specific indicator okay. and in this case if you want to see if the, if the volatility spike is greater than a fixed value or if it's greater than any historical value then you can do that same comparison here. You compare with 
historical volatility or you can compare with a constant value to see if it's greater than 24 then you know that you're looking at much higher than average volatility if it's less than that then you know you're not really worried about it so um, you can you can do that um click the plus sign to find the indicator um, if it's available <clears throat> um, on your computer um, I don't have that one uh, but uh, there's a volatility score indicator but um, I could use that specific one but um, yeah you can just set it up to look at that any in any specific way and if you get a volatility spike uh, value um, let's see what else were you um, yeah, or gaps for that matter. You're looking for a price difference. So if you're say if you're saying that the open of current price is greater than the a certain value, or say if your gap is more than 20 pips, then that gives you a very bullish gap opening. A lot of times, though, if it's greater than, uh, you'll have a closing of a gap. So you're, you're going to be targeting about 50% of the opening gap price uh, as your target. And then it turns around and goes in the direction of the gap trade. So you're, you can always do that, that trade setup to look at the current close relative to, to the previous close to see if it's greater than a certain constant value, which you can input. And it will alert you to the setup being a bullish or bearish gap setup. Uh, right now, uh, Honey, uh, our system is not a trade system. It is an analysis and uh, um, scanning system. And so we can scan for any of these particular setups and trades. Uh, the most platforms already have entry and exit type setups already built into the platforms. So we don't have to duplicate what's already been done in our setup because we are on those platforms like MT4, for example, already has uh, entry and exit points, um, you know, setups and, and uh, automatic trailing stops and so forth. So everything is already executes and runs beautifully with our system. So we don't have to worry about recreating that. So yes, and Sandy, uh, yes, you can look at your indicator relative to another one. Just like we did on these indicators, uh, we were looking at one moving average relative to another, or we were looking at the output of price relative to a EMA. Um, you can look at any constant or other indicators relative to your vortex indicator. So that's not a problem either. If the output is displayed in the data window, then you have full access to it within MT4 Professional. So that's the quick check. Open up your data window, load the indicator, and then you'll see the output on the data window. If it does not show up on the data window, then there's, you won't be able to use it. If it does, then uh, nothing will hold you back. You're welcome. All right. Well, thank you very much for being a part of my class today. I appreciate it. Again, if you have any questions or comments, you can always contact us at support at mt4professional.com. And make sure you take advantage of the 14-day free trial by getting started today using the link mt4professional.com. Lock in your 50% discount rate. Uh, we will not charge you until after the trial is over. And uh, we hope uh, to see you in the uh, trading room, in the uh, Skype chat room as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate your time. Have a great day, and we'll see you here at the exact same time, exact same place in about two weeks. Bye for now.